Pretty wild, meteorologist Joseph Dames. Can we expect as wild of circumstances in our weather for the rest of the weekend? Uh, that is wild. That was I a segue. Mean, really? You can't, I guess you can't win them all, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, the weather is going to get a little turbulent, a little stormy as we go through the next couple of days. We've uh, needed some rain. We've had a few days this month where we've collected some rain. You can see that with the green boxes right here. Uh, but... They just didn't squeeze out that much. So this is all that we've brought in so far this month. You can see the departure right there. We are behind, but we have a tool. We have something that's going to be moving on in as we head into our last day of February, and it's going to be an atmospheric river. That may help us out a bit, but I think we'll probably fall a little short uh, with our February rain tolls. We'll have to see. We have tonight, we have tomorrow, and we have all of Monday. You can see the showers have been passing in and out as we've gone into tonight. Continuing to see more shower activity right behind that. That's kind of how the story is going to go for our Sunday as well. We'll probably begin the day with some light rain and then scattered showers throughout the day. Would burn up through Aurora there to Portland to Gresham, which is very light rain. But over towards areas like Hood River and Parkdale, it sure looks like we're going to have a bit of a wintry mix tonight. There's a winter weather advisory in place for you folks there, and it does extend to the east until tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. There's still some cold air that's kind of stuck into this area of... Hood River County, so it's going to be hard to kind of get that out of there. So as the moisture comes in, we're going to definitely notice maybe some freezing rain, maybe even a little bit of snow there. So we'll keep an eye on for that section because uh, it's definitely going to be a bit slick. So if you live there, just be ready for that heading into tomorrow morning and active tonight. All right, you can see 42 degrees come out of the Dallas there over towards uh, the east, uh, heading towards Arlington. Temperatures about 30s, uh, lower 30s, but if you keep on Heading east on I-84, you get Pendleton, you get Baker City. Those temperatures are in the 20s there. Slightly warmer there along the Oregon coast. We topped off in the 50s today. All right, I mentioned that we have an atmospheric river moving in our direction. That's just going to be a lot of moisture that we're pulling in from the southwest. That's going to kind of get stuck here as it targets Washington and Oregon as we head into Monday morning. Continuing through all of Monday and Tuesday pretty much as well before it kind of settles down to the south. This should bring in some moisture for areas of California as well. Heading into Wednesday, we kind of break that atmospheric river, but we're still anticipating some shower activity. Future cast through tonight showing the showers from, well, southwest Washington all the way down through the Willamette Valley. Keep on heading south and you get to uh, areas like Eugene, Roseburg, and eventually to Medford. You see some shower activity through the Cascades there. Early tomorrow morning, not a lot going on. Maybe some uh, consistent rain as we head into late Sunday night, especially for the northwest Oregon coast, before that river really attaches to us. Southwest flow really cranking. Temperatures warmer as well, probably in the upper 50s. We keep it very wet as we go through our Monday portions of our Tuesday. And then we have another stream of moisture trying to connect with us uh, from the south to the north as we head into Wednesday. Notice plenty of shower activity heading into Thursday and Friday as well. It's going to be Wednesday through Friday where snow levels drop back down again. So we'll probably see some good snowfall at that point in time with any passing system that could uh, help uh, spark some of those snow showers. All right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the 50s. Tuesday at 57, 55 on Monday, but we may even be a bit warmer than that, probably in the upper 50s. Thursday and Friday temperatures in the lower 50s to upper 40s with more showers, Wayne. All right, thank you, Joseph.